What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming back to the Spore Guy YouTube channel. We got a good episode ahead. We appreciate everyone's feedback. We are doing our best to move away from the AI voices, so you'll be hearing me a lot more. Um, if you are interested in any resources, check the link in our bio of our YouTube channel. The topic we're going to be talking about today is land race strains, and even more specifically, the Purple Mystic. A subscriber wanted an episode on the Purple Mystic, so we're doing it. If you want a specific episode on a specific genetic, let us know, and we'll get one done for you. So in the world of mycology, there's a term that often surfaces in discussions about genetics. And this term that we are going to dive in on is landrace strains. They're the purebreds of the mushroom and plant kingdoms. It's not only mushrooms, it goes into plants as well. Land races evolve naturally in a specific geographic region, which is shaped by the climate, the local flora, and the environmental pressures over centuries. So this is a whirlwind of just the best possible climates to create these specific genetics. And in doing so, they develop a unique genetic fingerprint, stable, adaptive, and unaltered by modern breeding practices. As you would say, they are just purely grown from nature. For fungi, for fungi like Psilocybe cubensis, the concept of land race strains is just as important as it is in cannabis or heirloom vegetables. Strains like Golden Teacher, PE, and Amazonian may seem original today, but many were either isolated from wild populations or hybridized from foundational land race varieties. That's where the story begins, but the modern chapter is something entirely different. Today, the mycology community is in the midst of a breeding renaissance. Growers are isolating traits, cross-breeding strains, and experimenting with mutations to create more robust, visually interesting, and more potent varieties. And just like with dogs or certain roses, let's say, many of today's most popular strains have little in common with the wild types from which they originated. If you read into Purple Mystic and the origins of it, you will probably find that it was established in East Plant City in Florida. Many unique varieties of landrace mushroom spores come from the state of Florida. Areas like Melbourne, Florida are heavily infused with bovine and proper air quality that allows for excellent pheno hunting for new cubensis specimens. On the Shroomery Forum, a user called Black Dove 420 kind of spelt all with numbers is credited with sharing his wild land race strain of the purple mystic to spread its fruits and you know share it with the community his original posting of this goes back almost 11 years and he also writes about his firsthand story about finding the original purple mystic specimen and he has over 3600 posts alone on shroomery which should tell you one thing he's a pioneer of the wild land race hunters of florida in the wild you can distinguish the unique circular pattern on the edge of the mushroom cap the purple mystic does drop a rust color spore which when it falls on top of the caps below it creates that purple coloration which you know would contribute to the name the purple mystic now black dove 420 is credited with finding the purple mystics in plant city florida if you look in his post in the Shroomery Forum, he talks more into the name of Purple Mystic. Uh, something he says is, quote, One other main point about the Mystic and its name relevance is that its location is known, whereas the origin history of others might be kept secret or muddled through time. These Cubensis have, for a fact, grown next to Native Americans by an infamous creek, this area is a well-known religious area influencing the name mystic end quote so yeah reading that from black dove 420 really just shows you the lore of the purple mystic and the story behind it thinking how this genetic 
developed in open fields surrounded by cattle near Native American villages. And, you know, maybe they used it in ceremonial instances to have those mystic revelations and, you know, connect with the land that it actually grew from. I think that part's amazing. And you can really just go down a... That's going to wrap up today's episode, uh, just going into the Purple Mystic. And I really just wanted to speak on the significance of the land race strains within the mycology community. Land race strains are important in mycology because that is the preservation of the original genetics, you know, nature's unaltered blueprint, something that we can return to, build from, and respect as we explore the future of mycology. So thanks for tuning in to today's episode. Go check out the link in the bio if you haven't yet for some great resources, and we'll catch you on the next one.